Good morning all. Right, let's take a look at day one of this uh, new maths unit. We're going to be going into looking at data and how we can interpret data uh, using graphs to start with. Okay, so we're going to first start by looking at line graphs. Now we did a little bit of this in grade four, but it's going to be good to recap for today and then see how this might relate to our renewable energy unit, which we're doing in unit of study over this period as well. So let's have a look here. Right, so there's some questions for you to think about here. This is kind of, this says notes and guidance. This is for the teacher, but also it's good for you to read through yourself. So I'll just read this aloud to you as you go. It says, children will build on their experience of interpreting data in the context from year five. So that's year five in the UK is grade four. So using their knowledge of scale to read information accurately. Examples of graphs are given here, but it would be useful if the real data from across the curriculum, so it says, for example, science, well, in our case, we're going to be looking at renewable energy in relation to data. So keep your eyes open for that. Uh, please note that the line graphs represented continuous data and not discrete data. We'll go into that at some point as well. And children need to read information accurately, including where more than one set of data is on the same graph. OK, so here you can see there's one set of data on this graph and this graph, but here you can see there's two sets of data. So we're going to look at how we might do this. Now here, there's some questions for you to consider as we go. And what we'd like you to do as you go through this unit, as you've got your own copy here, is just to open up a little text box and plonk that in there with some of your thinking. So that's one option. The other option you can do is in your uh, notebook or on paper, you can write down your thinking as well and answer these questions, which kind of get you in the zone as you go. So uh, this says, where might you see line graphs used in real life? So have a think about that, have a think about where you might have seen that. Um, going on like news websites, for example, you often see it, so that might be one place, but have a think, try and come up with maybe three places that you have seen line graphs in real life. Um, why is water consumption graph more difficult to interpret? So if we have a look here, um, the water consumption graph uh, is down here. Why is this more difficult to interpret? Interpret means to read, to understand. Why is this more difficult? And then how can you make sure that you read the information accurately? Okay, so we're going to go through some points here. Right, so uh, let's take a little look at this first one here um, and see, uh, kind of uh, remind ourselves of how we read a line graph. So let's take a look here. Right, what is the same and what is the difference about these two graphs? Okay, so first of all, let's have a look at how we might read this. This graph is showing temperature over time. Okay, so uh, sometimes you might have heard this referred to as a behavior over time graph. Okay, and in, in this instance, the behavior is the change in temperature and it's over time. So when we read a line graph, we look at time is often used as the bottom on the bottom axis going across. And what we can see here is um, we've got 9 a.m., 9.30, 10, 10.30. So that, that's the scale of every half an hour. Now, if you want to read this and interpret this information, uh, maybe one of the questions I might have is at 9.30 a.m., what was the temperature? So in this instance, I go across to 9.30 a.m., go along the corridor, and then I go up the stairs, as they say, and I look here and I can see that this is just above 10 kind of just below halfway between 10 and 15. So I would say that's about 12 degrees centigrade on my scale here. Okay, similarly, at this time, which is between 9.30 and 10, so we'd say it's 9.45, that is going to be 15 degrees, and so on and so forth. Now, this changes here slightly because we go from 9 straight away to 10 Okay, and so what we're seeing here is that the scale is slightly different. The scale here is in every 15 minutes, you see a line going up. And the scale here is in every half an hour, every 30 minutes. And it's labeled at every hour. Okay, so when it says uh, what is the same and what is different about the two graphs, I would say they're probably showing similar pieces of information, or exactly the same information, but it's the scale that's different. Okay. Hopefully this has given you enough information and you can continue to answer the rest of the questions and relate this to our unit study graph here, which has lots of different pieces of information. See if you can work this one out for us here. Uh, make sure you're keeping your notes in your notebook, ready to share with your teacher when you have your one-to-one um, -one or group meetings.